Here's what Tom Brady had to say. You said he had uh, a lot to say about personal and family and all that stuff um, and the things you miss. And he compared it to something, and and he has since apologized for it. But here's the sound on it. Earlier this week, I made a statement about playing football and the military, and uh, it was a very poor choice of words. And I just want to express that to any sentiments out there that uh, people may have taken it in a certain way. So I apologize. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So you guys know, um, and I, I was very quick to, to say that uh, that was very poor, and I appreciated him coming out as as a, as the son of a military kid. You guys know that that's what, you know, that's my passion. That's what I give my money to. That's that's what I travel around and, and do events for is for our military. It's interesting. I got a letter from a vet. And I'm a, I'm gonna just read I'm 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 gonna read it to you guys and I I want to get y'all's y'all's take on it because I kind of I kind of felt like man like this was this was relevant but it goes it it goes dear Mr. Tom Brady I have a bone to pick with you you see we made a statement yesterday you see you made a a statement yesterday that basically insulted my community while also showing how out of touch. You really are with the crowd that watches you toss the ball around. The statement I almost look at like I almost look at football like football season like you're going away on deployment in the military. And it's like, man, here I go again. You could not be more wrong. While we can agree that you are away from your family, the separation impacts marriages as you are now feeling firsthand, and it's hard being away from the family. That is where most of the similarities end. I'll even extend the grace that playing football can also be dangerous and cause injuries. However, here we go. You need to learn what a real deployment is. It is days without communication. It is fear that the news on TV is where your loved one is. It is the tight knot in your stomach and your heart and your throat when you hear that doorbell ring. It is everything breaking the moment your spouse gets on a plane. It's all the kids getting sick in the middle of the night during a snowstorm. It's holding other spouses through their tough times. It's comforting their kids as they bury a parent. It's laying our friends to rest who gave their all. It is life or death. It is never knowing if it's our time. It's wearing that black bracelet to honor a true hero who looked the enemy in the eye and said, let's dance, MFR. A deployment is having half your heart, half a, uh, half a world away, never knowing if you'll see it again and wondering how you'll tell the kids and handle it all. You see, Mr. Brady, you tossing a ball, Making millions and running away from a guy a few pounds heavier is nothing like military (laughs) deployment. Until you've lost that friend on the battlefield, put a buddy on the medvac chopper, felt the rattle of incoming fire on your base, and dropped to your knees thanking God as you hold your children wondering how you made it home, you do not get to compare your few months of making millions playing a game to a lifestyle that thousands choose to do, that thousands raise their hand voluntarily to protect our country so you can throw a ball. Kids, look up to you, Mr. Brady. Please don't be ignorant. In my opinion, the only true football hero we have is Pat Tillman, who put his cleats away for combat boots. Perhaps you should consider putting your cleats away, too. Respectfully, an Army veteran and military spouse, Iraq, 2011-2012. Whew! Hey, let me tell you something. I have been around many, many, many vets, fellas. And and my family, and my dad's a, a wounded warrior. I, I tell the story all the time. He has no feet. My, I, don't, I don't even know if y'all knew this. My dad lost both his feet in, in Vietnam. And and has part of his leg and and is missing part of his leg above his knee. My dad has never run a day in my life with me. Never could run a route. Never could do back pedals with me. Never could do one-on-one coverages. None of that. 
my dad and I had to, and my brothers, we had to figure out alternative measures to how we would, you know, do things athletically. I, I always tell people who ask me, how were you so fast as big as you were, as big as you are? And I always tell them I had my dad's legs. You know, I had my dad's legs, and and even if even if I wasn't supposed to be fast, I almost feel like you know it was just the justice of what my dad went through as to why I have the athletic ability that I was able to have during the course of my career. I thought it was it was you know one of those moments where I hate to say this, but it, it's a selfish moment. It's a selfish moment because even though he apologized, and I appreciate the apology. Even though, you know, it, it kind of makes sense to say you're away from your family and you, you got to go do what you got to do. The moment I heard that, it made me feel like the the guy that is the greatest football player of all time, arguably, is he, he really is detached. He really is detached. And and the, the detachment from that reality – doesn't doesn't get erased with an apology and then it led me to this it led me to this kind of assessment of him if these are the things that you're saying you really believe that because you and I y'all both know and anybody else out there knows Tom is a very bright dude he's super smart you're not going to just say things that you weren't prepared to say. He's always prided himself in saying the things that he feels are best in, in interviews. He's been lauded for it. He's been praised for it. He's been complimented for it because he doesn't give the media anything that you can lean on and say, ah, you know, something ain't right there. But in this moment and in this season with the things that we've heard, the taking the vacation – or leaving the team for the amount of time that he did, I think it was 11 days, for him leaving to go to a, a owner's uh, wedding that he had and missing practice. It just took me to the place, even though you guys are 100% correct, that this is a team that will probably win their division because uh, it's a process of elimination. I still found myself thinking, is this the first time that we could actually look at Tom Brady and say who he is as a person and as a brand could be a detriment to the team. 